Hi everyone, just another quick little video updating you on the fallout from yesterday's video. I just want to do kind of do a follow up because we've got lots of messages, we've had lots of reblogs, all that sort of stuff, lots of comments on the YouTube video, and it's actually just too much for me to get around and comment back to everybody and reply to everyone. The whole like Twitter thing, I think, I pretty much stand by everything that I said in the video previously. It was inappropriately handled and an apology is still in order. I guess what I want to say though is that <laughs> Nat and I talk a lot about this documentary being about the positives of the fandom and that fandom can be a positive place where people can come together, feel safe and supported, can talk about things that they like and engage in things that are really interesting, in deep discussions, can argue appropriately and we've seen really strong examples of that occurring and we've seen really strong examples of people coming together to do things for the good of others. I think Louis' charity birthday drive is a really good example of that, that this group of people who don't have a lot in common other than their love of this boy band have come together and, and effected really great change. But over the last kind of 48 hours, I've seen some really negative parts of the fandom and it it makes it really hard to make this documentary the thing that i'm struggling with at the moment is that how do we talk about fandom being a positive and how do we talk about this positive experience for people and how do we talk about all the positives when the reaction to people calling out what was offensive was so negative. I got called names, some slurs were used, which was surprising, some uh, queer identified people were slurring me, I'm just gonna adjust the camera, and I'm shocked by that. I got lots and lots of messages which were really really supportive, really wonderful, uh, very encouraging, but of course the things that stand out are those negative things, and I'm I've been shocked. I still believe that the fandom can be a positive place and I still believe that for the vast majority of people, and I hope it's the vast majority of people, that it, that it is a positive place. It just so happens that I got to experience the really negative place that fandom can be. And when the point of your documentary is to talk about this incredible experience and that the media's got the wrong end of the stick and then you experience aggressive hatred and then when you see on like Twitter that Directioners want Tyler Oakley to die that is unbelievable to me and that makes telling these positive stories hard I haven't lost my passion for this documentary and I absolutely want to tell the story of the positive aspects of the fandom, but you gotta help me out. Be kind to each other. People were hurt by what Liam tweeted and whether or not you agree or disagree with that, people were hurt people were offended and people felt like the fandom wasn't a safe place for them anymore. That doesn't mean that they're stupid or idiotic or deserve your ridicule. It doesn't mean that it's appropriate to tell Tyler Oakley to kill himself. I believe in the rest of us. And I really hope that your belief in the rest of us means that you will be a supporting, loving, polite, kind, respectful member of the One Direction fandom. That's what I wanted to say. Thanks.